As both sides to the conflict have repeatedly said, the most fundamental issue at the heart of the conflict is of political nature that could only be resolved through civilized dialogue based on the principle of give and take and all inclusivity. It is my hope and expectation that the peace process will be designed in such a way that a broad range of South Sudanese stakeholders from government, political parties, and civil society actors are brought on the board and in a manner that gives due respect to the transitional constitutional arrangement already in place in South Sudan. The government of the Republic of South Sudan reiterates its commitment to the negotiations and without preconditions. We have come here with an open mind in search of a lasting solution to the crisis in our country. It is our sincere hope that the other party has the same resolve too, so that together we can bring a speedy end to the suffering of our people and establish lasting peace in our country. It is, it is also disjointing to note that the agreement signed for the release of political detainees has not been honored to the fullest. Of the 11 political detainees, only seven and only seven were released while four are still behind bars. This is another very serious violation of the cessation of hostilities. So this whole and uh, we thank you for 